Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited about today's video. I have here in front of me three viral and highly rated cream bronzers that I have been dying to get my hands on. I'm talking about the new Charlotte Tilbury cream bronzer. This may very well be the last or have been the last lightest shade in this bronzer in my entire state. Seemed to be out of stock everywhere until I found a Sephora that just opened up a few days ago, had one left in stock. I also have the NARS Laguna bronzing cream that we're gonna be testing out. And last but not least, the Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin enhancer in, I think I got this one in the second shade. Yes, the shade light medium. So we're gonna do a comparison of each of these bronzers. Over the next three days, I'm gonna pick one bronzer per day. We're gonna do kind of a wear test on it and see if at the end of the three days, there's one that I prefer above the others. Hopefully that sounds like fun to you guys. You guys know how much I love cream bronzers. Before we get into it, I wanna give a special welcome to any of you that are new here. Happy to have you here at my channel. I hope that you enjoy this video today. I hope that you'll consider subscribing before you leave. Make sure that notification bell is turned on so you can be notified each time I upload a new video. And with that said, this is gonna take a while, three days to be exact, so let's get into it. So let me explain to you guys real quickly how this video is going to go. We're gonna dig into each of the bronzers. Initially, right now, we're gonna open them up, take a look at the packaging, do some swatching. Then I'm gonna choose one to do a wear test on today, another for tomorrow, and then another for day three, and come back at the end of it all, and see if I can decide which one I think is the best. So let's get into... Gosh, should we go in alphabetical order? Yes, let's do that. So we're gonna start with the Charlotte Tilbury one. This thing was a painful purchase, as Charlotte Tilbury products always are. They are on the pricey side, but my goodness gracious, this thing is almost the size of my head. It is huge. I'll insert a close-up of this product for you guys right here. I have the shade One Fair. This thing has a whopping 21 grams of product or 0.74 ounces, so it is a beast. I mean, there's a lot of product inside here. Packaging, Charlotte Tilbury can do no wrong with her packaging. It is always glorious. I mean, that's, that's a big part of what you're paying for is her really luxurious packaging. It looks and feels as amazing as her products always do. So here is the lightest shade. It looks really nice. I mean, it's a good, seemingly kind of cool tone shade. Let's see how it swatches. Ooh, it's creamy, but it's also kind of like whippy feeling. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. Let me just swatch it for you guys on the back of my hand. So here is a swatch, a live swatch of the Charlotte Tilbury. Very, very pretty. Really like that shade. I think that's going to be really nice. It almost has like a very subtle, like pinkish kind of undertone. No, I don't know if I want to say that. It's just, it's not ashy, but it's also not overly warm or orange in any way. It's like, it seemed like right there in the middle, just perfect. At least that's my hope on first glance or first swatch. Let's take a look at the Makeup by Mario one next. So this one was the most affordable of the three, coming in at $30, but it's also the one that has the least amount of product. So in this one, you get five grams. Again, the Charlotte Tilbury one gave you 21 grams and 0.18 ounces. So a lot, a lot less product product, which may or may not be a concern to you depending on how large your collection is. Again, with this one, I went with the second shade, the shade light medium. After looking at some of the swatches online, I just figured this would probably be a better option for me. Okay, let's take a fill. It feels really nice and creamy as you kind of like run your finger through it. This one feels a little bit more emollient and kind of like dewy than the Charlotte one did. The Charlotte one felt a little more of like a soft kind of creamy matte. I mean, I don't really call it a matte, but it's also not like a dewy kind of cream. This one feels a little bit more glowy, a little bit more dewy. Color-wise, those actually look somewhat similar in color. Kind of feel like this one has even more of that like kind of cool berry toned-ish tinge. Hang on, let me turn my lights down. I feel like they're getting a little bit bright. Hopefully that, there we go. That's a little bit better. Hopefully you guys can see the subtle color differential in those two. They're similar, just subtle differences in color and very different feels to these, at least on the first swatch. This one feels a lot more emollient and creamy. Kind of reminds me of like the Kaja Playa Bento or the Patrick Ta in the bronzer duo. And last, let's take a look at the NARS. So this one has quite a bit of product as well. This one has 0.67 ounces or 19 grams of product. Again, going back to the Charlotte, just to compare 21 grams, this one has 19 grams and the Mario one again has just five grams. This one was much more affordable than the Charlotte Tilbury coming in at $38. So for how much product you're getting, I feel like value-wise, this is probably gonna be the best value. But let's see how it swatches. Oh, it looks so nice and like 
love a new cream product. Okay, this one feels more emollient as well. So the Charlotte one definitely has a different feeling than these two do. This one seems a little bit more pigmented. It also seems a little bit warmer, which is not that surprising to me because Nars Laguna is a is quite a warm bronzer for me. I have the original actually in my current shop, my stash right now. In fact, why don't we just go ahead and get that out and take a quick little side-by-side -side swatch. By the way, I forgot to mention, there are more than one shade of the NARS Laguna Cream Bronzer, and I got the shade 02 Laguna 2, which is it says is original, so I'm assuming this is meant to kind of be a duplicate in shade for the original powder bronzer. So here's the original NARS Laguna powder bronzer. Okay, those look almost identical. They did a good job duplicating that color. So let's jump in and do the first wear test. So I think today I'm going to start with the NARS one. I really want to save the Charlotte Tilbury one because this one's supposed to be long wearing. I just have a baseball tournament to go to tomorrow. So I want to test this one out under those conditions. So for day one, let's start with the NARS. We'll apply this. We're going to talk a little bit about kind of some of its claims. Then I'm going to try and do a natural light check-in if I can, which I will do with each of the bronzers. So let's read a bit about some of the claims. I'm just on the Sephora app. So it says some of the highlights of this product are natural finish, cream formula, long wearing, without phthalates and without parabens. And here's a little description that they give. It says a decadently creamy bronzing formula that's inspired by the best-selling shade Laguna. It also says this creamy formula glides onto skin, delivering long lasting second skin warmth with a natural looking finish. It is scented with NARS French Polynesian Manoy de Tahiti oil, also known to lock in moisture visibly from Firm and visibly tone the complexion. I had no idea that they have like a scent. I don't have a lot of NARS products. Very, very subtle. It's not very strong if that's something that kind of worries you. So let's jump right in to this thing. I love the packaging. It reminds me of the ABH one, which also has a ton of product in it, by the way. Man, you guys, I hope that I live 34 lifetimes because I'm never going to run out of bronzers. I'm never going to really use up all these bronzers. Okay, so I feel like I picked up quite a bit on my brush. I'm going to try and just kind of very slowly tap this on. By the way, the brush I'm using, this is my favorite cream bronzer brush. It is from the brand Moda. I don't know that you can still get your hands on this brush. If I can find it, I'll try and link it for you guys online. But a good duplicate or close duplicate for this brush is actually the e.l.f. Oh, what is that like? Really dense kind of stippling brush. I'll also link that one down below for you guys. It's a little bit larger than this one, which is why I like this one a little bit better. But as far as how dense it is and how it blends, they work very similarly. Okay, that looks gorgeous. So I only relatively recently tried out the original NARS Laguna bronzer. I think it was last year. So I haven't even owned that one for that long. And initially I wasn't even sure that I loved it that much, but it's kind of grown on me. I do think it's a really good basic warm bronzer. If you don't want anything too ashy, I feel like this might be a good option for you. Again, I obviously am just talking about these specific shades that I'm trying out today. I should probably also mention to you guys how many shades each of these come in. So the NARS Laguna Cream Bronzer comes in five different shades. I have the second shade and there's one lighter and three darker. I'll try and remember to let you guys know how many shades the others come in as well. I wanna say Charlotte Tilbury I think has three or four, so not, not a ton. Now just a little bit down onto my neck. I didn't dip in again. This is just kind of what's left on my brush. I need to blend this out a little bit better. It's looking a little bit stripey to me, but I'm going to do that with my sponge. Just lightly kind of pulling it up a little more on my cheeks. I'm actually not going to be wearing a blush with these bronzers because I just really want to test out just this as the only color on my cheeks to see how it holds up by the end of the day. Sometimes I think if you combine a blush and a bronzer, it's kind of hard to tell like where one ends and where one begins. So we're just gonna do the bronze look today. Not that mad about it though. This is really, really pretty. All right, then real quickly, I'm just gonna go around the edges, mostly of this side. I feel like I got a little, I had a little more on my brush on this side. Just gonna blend those edges out. There we go. That was actually really quick. That went on really well. I love the formula of it. It feels just like a good cream bronzer so far. I mean, applying this reminded me a lot of some of my other favorite cream bronzers. As I mentioned, the Patrick Ta, the Kaja, the Fenty one that I really love, even the Milk Makeup one. All of those are a little bit more 
creamy and emollient, which is kind of how this one applied. I thought it went on really well though. It's not looking overly dewy right now though, which I think is probably a good thing. It looks nice and hydrated, but not like slippery or dewy or glowy. By the way, I forgot to mention at the beginning, I do have my makeup already on, as you guys probably could tell, my foundation, my concealer, my eye makeup. I'm gonna try and wear the same face makeup throughout the next three days so as that doesn't interfere with the performance of anything. So I'm wearing my NARS light reflecting foundation. I have my NYX Bear With Me concealer on and then I powdered those a little bit just on my forehead and through the T-zone with my RCMA No Color Powder. And I did put just the tiniest bit of the Persona Zuma highlighter just right here on my upper cheekbones and kind of down the center of my face and on my eyelids. But there we have the NARS bronzer. Very happy with this one. This was actually the one that I was, I, not that I wasn't excited about it. I kind of bought this one out of curiosity over the reviews that it got. It has near perfect reviews. So it has 174 4.7 star reviews. And the first couple pages as I was looking into this one, reading the reviews, they're pretty glowing. Let me just read a couple to you. Love it, looks super natural, great shade, blends super easily, good amount of product for the price. I'm a very happy camper. Another review, this one is for the lightest shades that I was ready not to like this, but it's quickly become a must have for me. One of the easiest cream bronzers to apply looks great when used with a brush or with the fingers. Another one for the same shade I'm using says this product is amazing, applies beautifully and doesn't go muddy or orange. I would have to agree. I think this is like the perfect, it's warm, but it's not orange. It's the perfect warmth. I actually really, really like this one. I think I'm even liking it more than I like the powder or bronzer. All right, so I'm gonna wear this one all day, see how it goes. I will do a check in here in a minute with you guys in natural light to see how it looks in natural lighting, and then I'll come back at the end of the day and we'll see how everything held up. All right, guys, quick check in here in natural light. It actually looks really, really natural. <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing. I need my glasses on to actually inspect it. I cannot see the screen that's seven inches in front of my face, but there it is. Very, very impressed with it so far. By the way, I just put this on like 45 seconds ago, so I just came upstairs. It's currently one o'clock in the afternoon. I'm gonna try and wear this and all the other ones for at least seven or eight hours. So I'll do a check-in probably tonight around eight o'clock. And here we are, it is the end of day one with the NARS Laguna Cream Bronzer. It's been on for about eight hours now, just under eight hours. And this is kind of what things are looking like. I've gotta say you guys, I'm actually really liking this bronzer today. If you like a warm bronzer that's not too orange, if you're kind of around that like light, medium light skin tone, this is such a great color. I love the shade of this bronzer. It's the perfect shade of warmth. It's not orange, but it's really nice and like naturally warm. I think this one wore really well. I still can definitely see it on my cheeks, even on my like temples and my forehead a little bit. And I, I did take a little nap today. I tried really hard not to like bury my face in my pillow, but really happy with this one. I think it wore really well. The one thing I did notice over the last couple of hours is I, it does give kind of a bit of a dew, like a really subtle dew right here. I actually really appreciate that because again, I do have dry skin, but if you have oily skin, that might be an issue for you perhaps. But I'm really happy with this one so far, how it wore, how it's looking after eight hours. So that's it for day one. I'll be back with you guys tomorrow. We're gonna test out the Charlotte Tilbury Cream Bronzer. Back for day two. Today we're gonna actually test out the makeup by Mario one. I think I mentioned we would do the Charlotte Tilbury one second, but I'm gonna hold that one off till the very end. Let's talk a little bit about the claims of the makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer. I have to read that every time. That is a very, very long name. So this one also has some pretty good reviews. 223 four and a half star reviews on Sephora's website. It says it has light coverage, radiant finish, fragrance free, vegan, cream formula, and cruelty free. Let's just read a little bit about its description. It says this three-in-one enhancer is a solid balm, skin tint, and creamy bronzer all-in-one featuring six universal shades. This formula is non-comedogenic and offers sheer coverage for a dewy finish. So with those claims, it does seem like this product is more than just a bronzer. I know that there's also a powder that's meant to go along with this one. I did swatch that powder inside my Sephora. I just, I wasn't sure I was wild about that powder. I'm generally not wild about finishing powders. So we're just gonna try this one out on its own today. I have the second shade, the light medium shade. Let me just give this one a swatch for you guys one more time. There's the swatch. Very nice shade. Let's give this one a try. This one feels a lot like the NARS one. Very nice and creamy, very emollient and kind of buttery feeling. So I'm again using my Moda brush and I did wipe this brush off really, really well with a little bit of brush cleaner. So it is quite clean. I think I got quite a bit on the back of my brush. I'm just gonna run some of that excess on the back of my hand and then we'll start tapping it on. Now this one does not make any sort of claims about it being long wearing. I would imagine that with the additional powder product on top that I know you're probably supposed to put on top, that probably would make this one 
last longer, but I'm gonna see how it lasts on its own without putting anything else on top, just to compare. This one, as I mentioned, is the most affordable, but there's significantly less product in this one. I mean like a fourth or even a fifth of what the other two give you, which I always pay attention to, but in reality, because I have a larger makeup collection and a larger, I mean, just being very specific, cream bronzer collection, I'm probably never gonna use up or even come anywhere close to using up any of my cream bronzers, even this one with it having less product. So if it's your only bronzer product and you burn through cream bronzers really quickly, then that might be a big deal. But if you're never actually gonna use it up, is it really that important? I always think that it is. Like I love good value. It just makes me feel better about spending the money, but maybe in like reality, it's not as important, at least for me personally, but it's good to know. Okay, I'm loving the shade of this one so far. Again, I feel like this is a major shade when this one i don't know if you guys can tell the other one i feel like i mean it's warm it is nice and warm it does warm the complexion but it's a little bit more of like a, a red based warm like it has a little bit more like kind of pinky redness in it i don't even want to say the nars one was orange because i didn't feel like that one was orange on me at all but just the undertone of this one is a little bit different it's a little more blushy kind of of an undertone it's definitely not ashy or cool toned which again could be a good or bad thing depending on what you like so I'm just continuing to kind of work what was on the back of my hand into my skin. I'm gonna put quite a bit more than I normally would because this is gonna, again, act as kind of my blush today as well. So I'm taking it in. If I'm using a blush, I actually will kind of stop here, but I'm gonna just take a tiny bit more, dipped back in just a little bit more, put a little bit more on the back of my hand, and then I'm gonna take that and just very lightly kind of pull it in and up on my cheeks, almost like a blush because this is kind of my blush today, so. And I have the same makeup on, at least on my face, that I had on yesterday. All the makeup that I'm wearing in these videos, I'll list down below. My eyeshadow today, I'm wearing the Going Coconuts palette. And I do, just like yesterday, have the tiniest bit of Persona Zuma highlighter on my cheeks. Very, very subtly. I don't know if you guys can catch that in this lighting, but it does have a very subtle, dewy kind of finish, but it's not feeling overly tacky or like greasy on the cheeks. And I have quite a bit on, I'm really building this up, but I kind of like that creamy finish, makes it blend really well. Love the extra hydration that it gives my cheeks. We will see how this one wears throughout the day. If it ends up going oily, if it wears off. Again, I'm gonna be outside all day today. It is supposed to be a little bit cooler. We've had crazy insane hot weather lately. I think today's gonna be a mere like 90, four degrees, but we're gonna be outside all day long. So my son has a baseball tournament this weekend. So today and tomorrow I will be outside in the heat all day long. So it'll be a good test for at least these two bronzers. So I will be back in just a minute. I'm gonna do a quick natural light check-in because again, we have no natural lighting really down here. I'm gonna go up to a window upstairs where I have a little bit more light, show you guys what this one looks like in the natural light. And then I will do a check-in when we get home late tonight. So here we are upstairs. It's just been a couple minutes since I put this one on. I'm just next to a window up in my living room. And this is what it's looking like in natural light. Very, very pretty. Hopefully you guys can kind of see that really nice little bit of a sheen there. It kind of looks a lot in finish like the NARS one did. The color is just a little bit different though. I actually really like the color of this one as well. Oh man, you guys, it's gonna be tough. I'm not that decisive in the first place, so unless there's like a big difference in how things wear, at least with these two so far, this is gonna be tricky. But there is a quick look at it. I will let you guys know by the end of the night how this one wore. All right, it's the end of day two. It is 11.07. PM. So this one had an exceptionally long wear test today. I've had this on since nine o'clock this morning. So that's what, 14 hours. Normally I do not wear my makeup that long. Normally I am in bed by now. This was an exceptionally long day. I've been outside pretty much all day from 10 AM till about 10 PM tonight. Three different baseball games today. This one really got a good test. I will say most of it I feel like is worn off, but I do see just a trace of it here left on my cheeks. I tried very, very, very hard not to touch my face throughout the day. I did take a look at this one in my car mirror around like three o'clock in the afternoon. That was also around the point that I did put a little bit of spray sunscreen on. Again, I didn't touch my face. I just kind of sprayed a small layer of sunscreen on because I didn't want to sacrifice the sunburn just for the sake of the bronzer. But even through that, I feel like, I mean, I'm seeing a trace of it left. But overall, I'm pretty happy with this one so far. Really enjoyed how it looked throughout the day. Feel like it looks okay now. I don't know that I look my best, but I feel like after 14 hours of wear, this is not 
terrible for makeup wear. So, so far so good, Makeup by Mario. I will be back with you guys tomorrow. We'll be testing out the Charlotte Tilbury one. I have two more baseball games tomorrow. Tomorrow's day should not be quite as long, but it is supposed to be a lot hotter tomorrow, which is why I wanted to test that one on the hottest day because that one's supposed to be a little bit more long wearing. So I really wanted to see how it held up in the heat. So that's what we're gonna do. I will see you guys in the morning and we will test out the Charlotte Tilbury. All right guys, it is day three. I am back to test out the Charlotte Tilbury cream bronzer. Let me just read a couple claims of this one for you guys. So some of its highlights are, it has hyaluronic acid, it's supposed to be long wearing. It says it's best for dry combo or normal skin. In the description, it says it is a 16 hour wear cream bronzer in four beautiful sun-kissed shades for face and body that blur skin, hydrates with hyaluronic acid and is sweat proof. That will be an interesting claim to test out today because I will be outside in 100 degree heat for at least a couple of hours today. It says this bronzer delivers the perfect summer glow. The blurring, sweat proof, and humidity proof formula has a powdery cream finish that melts into the skin, easily building from soft to bold to achieve natural to more defined contoured looks. So this is the bronzer that I think I consider to be pretty viral. I mean, I've seen everybody talking about this bronzer, but as I was looking at the reviews, so this one has 108 reviews and it got 4.1 stars. So it actually didn't get quite as good of reviews as the other two that I tried out, at least on Sephora's website. Let me just read you guys a couple of the reviews here. This one says, this bronzer is amazing, blends into skin seamlessly. There is one two star review here that says, I returned this product. I found it to be very patchy. Just used a brush and sometimes your other other products won't mix well and will leave your makeup separating. So that's interesting to hear. Let's go ahead and give this one a try. So again, I have the same makeup on that I've been wearing all week. So I'm gonna take my clean bronzer brush. I'm just gonna kind of dip into this very pretty pan. This thing is ginormous. I think I mentioned the quantities for you guys. This one by far has the most product, but it's also quite a bit more expensive than the other two. So we will see if it is worth it. It's really gonna be hot and sunny today. Not quite sure how long I'll be outside. So my son's playing in a baseball tournament right now. And depending on how they do today, we may just be there for one game. We might be there till like 10 o'clock at night again. So we'll see. We lost a game yesterday though. So my guess is probably won't be there all day, but you never know with baseball tournaments. Okay, I'm loving the finish of this so far, you guys. I wasn't sure I would when I was watching these because normally I tend to prefer the more emollient ones that really like give me a little extra hydration. But this, it's like, it looks hydrated, but a little bit more matte in finish than the other two. It's very skin-like, like it looks more, I don't know if I'd say it looks more natural. I thought the other ones look natural as well. This one's just not quite as dewy, but it looks really, really pretty on the skin. Very impressed so far. Hmm. Like the color of it as well. It's gonna take a little bit extra just some kind of dipping in, just, I'm just kind of like swiping each time I dip in. So I did that for like each side and for, do a little bit on my neck. Might as well bronze up my body as well, right? Maybe I'll go draw some abs on myself. This one seems a little more cool toned than the other two, but it's not ashy by any means. I mean, it's still warm, it is bronzy, but it has a little bit more of like a contouring kind of undertone to it. It's a little bit more up on my forehead. I will probably be wearing a hat today, but I'm gonna try and wear a really loose fitting hat. And if nothing else, that will test its, I mean, it didn't say it's transfer proof, but it does say that it's long wearing and sweat proof, which makes me wonder if it will hold up even under a loose fitting hat. So one more little dip in there. I'm just gonna take a tiny bit more and just pull it a little bit higher up on my cheeks kind of as if it was a blush, because again, I'm not gonna be wearing a blush today, so I want a little bit more color or bronze on my cheeks than normal. I'm not sure if this technique's gonna work as good with this bronzer because it's a little bit more cool toned. But that said, I'm not complaining. I think it's really beautiful. It looks very natural on the skin. Definitely more of a satiny kind of finish. It's not quite as glowy and dewy as the other two were, but it doesn't look dry in any way either. So there is first application. I'm going to run upstairs and check in natural light. Then of course I'll be wearing this the rest of the day and we will check in at the end of the day. I'll try and get at least eight to nine hours of wear out of this one before I check in with you guys. So be back in a sec. All right guys, here we are up in my living room. I just put this one on. We are in front of hundred percent natural light. Here's what this one is looking like very, very pretty. This one has a really soft looking finish on the skin. I like the color of it. I was a little bit worried in natural lighting, it would look 
ashy, but it's definitely not ashy. I would not call this ashy. Very, very pretty color, very pretty finish. So I'm gonna wear this one for the day and I will check in with you guys tonight and we will take a look and see how it went. All right, friends, end of day three. Another very long day. It's actually 10.30 p.m. We just got home. This day actually ended up being longer than yesterday. We were outside in the sun all day watching baseball. Let's give it up for Wesley. They came home with a championship. Here is what things are looking like. I gotta be honest, guys. This was a really difficult wear test. 100 degrees outside today. I was definitely sweating. Let's, I had this hat on all day long. I haven't even taken it off yet. Oh my goodness, my hair is like matted to my head. This is kind of embarrassing, but this is what I look like at the end of a very long day. Not much left on my forehead. I am still seeing some hair on my cheek. I feel like I got a little bit like I have kind of a weird patch going on right here. I tried very hard not to touch my face at all. I don't think it looks terrible. I mean, generally speaking, I just look kind of a mess, but I feel like the bronzer, I'm still kind of seeing it right there. However, I do think it's a little bit hard to judge after such a difficult wear test. I, mean, I don't think anything would stand up to the amount of heat and sweat that I had going on today. So I'm actually gonna wear this one again tomorrow. Not show you guys the application or anything, but do one more check-in at the end of just kind of a regular day tomorrow. Honestly, I didn't even have a chance really to look in a mirror much today to see how things were going throughout the day. So I'm not sure that this was like the best wear test ever, but I did wanna show you guys how it is looking after those very extreme conditions. So I will be back with you guys again shortly, which will be tomorrow and let you guys know how it wears under normal conditions. All right guys, end of day two with the Charlotte Tilbury Cream Bronzer. I feel like things are looking much better. It is currently nine, oh gosh, my watch might be dead. 9.22 in the evening. I put this on about 8.15 this morning. So solid 13 hours of wear today. Much easier wear conditions. I wasn't doing a lot today, just a lot of hanging out around the house. We went over and visited my mom for a while. So I could. it's not surprising that things are looking much better. But I'm very happy with how this wore. I'm definitely still seeing the bronzer on my cheeks. I'm not seeing the patchy kind of that I saw yesterday, which again, I think was more attributed to the conditions that it was under yesterday rather than maybe the product itself. Looks nice and even, very pretty color. I really do like the formula of this one. It's very different than the other two. This one has almost like a really close, it has a more like makeup-y look to it or a more like coverage kind of look. It almost looks like it has some like coverage in it, which I can't really tell if I love that or if I'm not certain about that. So I'm gonna need a little bit more time really to definitively say which one I like the best. They're all definitely very different, but let me just kind of talk about the differences in these two. These two in formula feel a lot more similar to me. They both have a very similar, very creamy, kind of buttery feeling texture on the skin. It gives you a little bit more kind of glossiness, which you may or may not like depending on what you like in your cream bronzer. Even I am not sure what I like. I think I like both of them for different reasons. This one is much more of a satiny kind of finish. So if you don't like the look or feel of something overly creamy or maybe you feel like it moves around too much on your cheeks, I didn't notice that happening with these when I wore both of these. But if you do find that to be the case with maybe say you've tried the Fenty one or the Kaja one and the Kaja Plyo Bento Trio or the Patrick Ta, these remind me of that kind of a formula. They're very, very creamy. But I enjoyed this one as well. So really tough for me to rank them. I mean, I'll have to say by price alone, which you guys know is always a big deal to me more just because like in my mind, it's a big deal to me. I'm just very frugal minded. Even when it comes to my high end makeup purchases, I think the NARS is probably the best bang for your buck. You get a ton of product in here. I do really like this one. It's quite warm. It's probably the warmest of all three that I tried today, but on my skin tone, I didn't have any issues with it turning orange. And keep in mind, they do have other shades to offer. So this one's ranking pretty high in my non-official ranking list today. This one though, I am very impressed with. It was super pricey, but I'm very happy with the amount of product that you get inside here, a ton of product. I love the shade of this one. It's a little bit more of a sculpting kind of shade than a bronzing shade than the NARS, but I also still find it to be really beautifully bronzing on the skin. Really nice tone if you like something that kind of walks that line between a bronzer and a contour, which is typically me. I love that in a bronzer, whether that be a cream or a powder. So I'm very impressed with this one. Very impressed with the wear time. And after what how it wore yesterday, which I know my makeup looked terrible after that long day, but I was surprised it was even left on my skin at all. And it definitely was still there. So that's pretty impressive to me. But then again, I also really enjoyed the Makeup by Mario one. I would say if you like something more creamy and maybe you're extra sensitive to warm bronzers, like maybe you feel like a lot of warm bronzers just go very orange on you. I feel like this shade is gonna be a better bet than the NARS. While I didn't think the NARS one was orange on me, it was definitely a little bit warmer than this one where this one had a little bit more of kind of a cool, almost, almost like a rosy kind of undertone to it. I know I kind of already swatched these for you guys, but let me just do it 
one more time so that you can see. And actually now that I'm swatching them again, I think that the Makeup by Mari one is probably the creamiest and most buttery feeling of the three. This one is kind of in between, I would say the Charlotte Tilbury. It's just not quite as like glowy or buttery looking. It doesn't have like the sheen that this one has. However, on the skin, I feel like these were pretty similar to each other, but you can see the undertone of this one is just a little bit more warm, a little bit deeper. And just for good measure, let's go ahead and swatch the Charlotte Tilbury next to these ones as well, just for one final comparison. So here is the Charlotte one. My gosh, you guys, I like them all. Maybe this video wasn't helpful for anybody, but that is what they look like. I'm gonna say, I think my top two for right now, this could possibly change as I get to know these a little bit better, but I, I've gotta go with the NARS and the Charlotte Tilbury. I'm just very impressed with both of those, both how they wore, how they looked on the skin, the colors, and the value. You get a ton of product in both of these, which I really appreciate. I'm very impressed with all three of these. I think there's a reason that they've been getting a lot of attention, really good reviews. A lot of people have been raving about them because I do think they're all really, really nice. So there we have it. Hopefully those shade comparisons, the wear test that I did with these will maybe help you guys come to a decision for yourselves. Good luck. I think it's gonna be tough because I really do like all of these. I will, of course, keep playing with each of these and really see if maybe as I get to know them a little bit better, my guess is I'll have a better handle on ranking these and maybe maybe one will kind of pull away from the pack. So I will, of course, keep you guys updated in the near future. I actually have a whole bunch of makeup products I need to do like a speed review or something for you guys on. Of course, as always, I would love to hear your thoughts on any of these. Let me know if you guys have tried out one of these new bronzers, how they're working for you, if you did or did not like them. Any information, you can leave would be helpful to all of us. Thank you guys so much for stopping by for watching today. I hope you guys are all doing well. Let me give you one last reminder. If you are not yet subscribed, please consider doing that before you leave. But that's going to do it for now. Thanks again. I will see you all in my next video. Bye.